What, you think you're better than me? You're not better than today's card trick? <laughs> I know you. These free beers brought to you by GoDaddy. We asked 500 bronies what their favorite My Little Pony was. The answer? Scam School, strangely enough. The Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and today we're going to learn an awesome card trick that requires no skill, a little bit of setup, and the cards do all the work. What could be better? Plus, you get free beer. And we are here with Courtney and Kevin, and of course our friend Johnny Zavant. Hello! An amazing card trick miracle. Okay, so here, here we got. What, I, what I'm going to ask you to do is to please just take a card when you're drawn to. Yes. Please take a look at it. Show the camera. Show the camera. You got it? All right, all right. Hide it. Oh, all right. Put it back anywhere you like. There you go. So you notice, I'll put it back together, no... No breaksies? No breaks, no I didn't nothing. see your finger in there? Nope, no fingers, no nowhere, bookmarks? Except on my hands, no, no bookmarks, yes. And so what I'm gonna ask you to do is to think of your card, right, just in your head, and then send it to me. Yes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like your, your villainous eyes. You got your mustache You have to emote. <laughs> yes! Yes, amazing! <laughs> Please be serious. This is serious business. Sorry. Mm, yes. I'm going to commit myself. That is your card. I know it is. That is your card. I like it. She's like, yes, it, it is. is. Uh, Trick's over. Thank you. Good night. If you believe right, it, yes. I believe it. That's, that's great. Can I check it? Or? I will. <laughs> She's like, whoa, 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 Downing Thomas, what's easy, up here? Easy, easy there, cowgirl. Okay, right. so, my name's Johnny, what's your name, sir? Kevin. Kevin, pleasure to see you, sir. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is to, to pick up the cards and uh, hold them like you're going to deal cards, because that's what you're about to do. Okay. Okay, so, what I'm gonna ask you to do is to uh, deal cards one at a time, and what I really need you to do is to feel each card. Really, really feel it out. You don't mean like like stroke it. You not, mean like, not stroke like it, but emotionally just on a deep subconscious level. Yeah. Connect with each card. Okay. Right? Gotcha. No, no, no. You gotta go slower that really slower. <laughs> yeah, just really connect like on a, a psychic date, level. He's setting the now, rules. Now, at any just time, like slower. Yeah, at any time you can stop dealing. Okay. Alright? But really feel psychically each one. Okay? Whenever you want. Dude, oh, Kevin is into it. That's it, that's awesome. Yeah? Spent, now, that you, was that, you did you not want, last very long. <laughs> do you, do you want you this done. one or do you want that one? I want this one. You want this one? Yeah. So take a look at it. Okay. I'm not gonna look. I, I Don't let me see it. You got it? I got it. Please put these back and okay. you can shuffle the whole deck. Shuffle so everything? put everything back? Yep, yep, put these back and just really shuffle it up, go to town. Okay. Right? So this is to Oh, now you say go to town. Yep. See, now I After say go to town. After he's got nothing left. No, no, you gotta, you gotta start slow, then work your way up, right? <laughs> so yours, you gotta choose any card you wanted. He got to kind of feel it That's out. It. And then for the dowdy Mustafas, <laughs> you can shuffle it up, yeah? All right, now, if I were able to find your card on a scale of one to amazing, where would that be? Kangaroo, that's where it would be. <laughs> yes! <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right. All, right, all right, all right. If what I think is about to happen is about to happen, then this is amazing, because you, full on, you picked whatever card you want, mm -hmm. you put showed it back nobody, anywhere you wanted. And mm -hmm. you put it back anywhere you want, yep. right? Yep. Uh, you. Were he, you were he, handling the cards. He didn't cards. even hold the cards. You just went through and until you ran out of steam, and right. then that just happened to be where you ran out of steam. Right. And, no, and neither of you showed any of the cards to, to, to nope. fake nope. you nope. And we didn't set this up ahead of time. Excellent. So, for the very first time, would you please tell everyone what was your card? It was the Four of Spades. The Four of Spades? Oh, it feels so good. Devil oh, word! What? what? Oh. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I had the four of hearts. You had the four of hearts? What a cosmic coincidence. <laughs> and that's all the time we have for this episode of Scam School, ladies and gentlemen. Four hearts what? Right there. Oh, my Dude. goodness. Okay, did you guys like that? Yeah, do you absolutely. want to learn how to do that? Absolutely. Then yeah. let's toast our sponsors. Yeah. Not gonna lie, pretty cheap. 
also lazy. Plus, I'm impulsive, but that's okay. Do you know who loves lazy, cheap, impulsive people? Our friends over at GoDaddy.com. GoDaddy, the home of 99.99% uptime. Not only that, but insanely cheap domains. I'm talking about domains so cheap that you should register one just because you don't feel like typing in a full URL to somewhere else. That's how I registered ScamSchoolBook.com or ScamStuff.com. Whether it's to insult your friends, whether it's because you don't feel like typing in a whole URL, or I don't know, maybe because you actually wanted a domain that you can use for your name. GoDaddy was one of the original sponsors of Scam School, and they're still kicking us cash. So why don't you help them out by heading on over to GoDaddy.com. Use that promo code SCAM10 at checkout. Cheap domains, free mirror. What's to lose? Now, this is what's awesome about this trick, is every so often we get to teach not just a trick on Scam School, but a fundamental idea that people can use to make their own magic of all kinds of varieties. And I asked Johnny, I was like, well, where did you learn this? He's like, I don't, you learn the concept and you just, you just, you just make just up it. tricks. And it's yeah. like, that to me is when you really hit the next level as an entertainer and a magician, when you have the tools and you're able to just make stuff up on the fly, which is exactly what happened here. We're gonna learn about how to use a slug. Walk us through it, Johnny. All right, so uh, when, when I took the, the cards out and show you the deck, right? Well, there's a part that I'm not showing you, and that's the important part, which is up here, which is what is called a slug, which is a whole bunch of cards in a very particular order, okay. which here would be ace through king order. So this is on top of the deck, which is the part you don't show people. So so there is a little bit of preparation advantage. All you got to do is set up, and it doesn't have to be hearts. It could be nope. any suit any, as long as it's set suit. ace through king. Yep, exactly. Right. So it could be any order that you want as long as you remember its order. Okay. So it, for the people that want to be super tricky about it, you can shuffle it up, but I didn't shuffle it with you guys, and that didn't matter, right? right? So when I ask you to take a card, I make sure that I'm avoiding offering you those cards. Okay. Well, because, and that makes sense because people usually want to take a card from the middle. So right. You just sort of so push I, them all I'm over. not going to take the first ones. I'm I'm going to outwit the magician man. I'm right. going to yes, the mind reader. I'm going to outthink him. Right. So I'm offering you any number of cards from anywhere else in the deck. Here, I'll take okay. one. So there you go. I'm going to take be... a card. There we so go. So while right everybody there. is looking there, you just cut the cards, so now the top of the deck is now in the middle. Okay. So you take the slug, the slug starts off on the top. The slug is on the top. Mm -hmm. And then after the cards are taken, you move the slug pretty much to the middle. In the middle. Now, now, do you bother to keep a break or you, I do. you can just I actually do keep a break okay. because you want to thumb off until you're at the slug. Okay. okay. Right? Because when I say return it anywhere, I mean, return it anywhere into the middle of the slug. Right. All right. So now, meanwhile, again, visually, we got the ace through the king of hearts through this whole thing. Right. So whatever my card is, is going to be the one that doesn't match inside right. the slug. Right. Yeah. So now your card's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah. But you make a big deal of not being able to keep track of where the card is. Right? It's woefully lost in the middle of the sure. deck somewhere. So now when you look through the deck, you see your ace, you go through, and somehow, a, yeah, I don't a, know how you were yeah, able to figure out which one. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah I don't know. It's very easy to miss. <laughs> so you kick up the card, and then you cut a couple cards on the top of your slug. Now this is you setting up the next phase, right? Exactly. Here, right? So you're using the first trick to set up the second phase of the routine. So you, now, you cut you cut the slug, just as you cut the slug from the top into the middle, now you're cutting the slug not all the way to the top, nope. but two from the top. Uh, three from the top. Three from the top, okay. exactly. Okay. Got so it. you take out the card, put it there, that's your card. So at this point, the slug is three down, yep. and you hand and the it, deck over to someone else. Right, Here, and I'll it be, starts like, I'll be that guy again. There you go. So, so again, and you, you say, take your time and deal them face down. Right. So meanwhile, you're thinking, nonsense card. Yep. Nonsense card. Right. Nonsense card. And now, now you're paying attention, and now is the point that you go, okay, you can stop anytime you want. Right. And that's why you tell them to take so long. Right. Because nobody's going to sit through doing that 12 more times. Sure. Right. Well, and what's great is even if they want to be a jerk, you're like, take as long as you want. You're like, oh, I will. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it's awkward for both of us. Ten. <laughs> Jack. 
queen. Okay, I'm finally out of steam. Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm on this one. Right, and that is the... That'll be my card. King right, but, but again, you right. don't know what it is. So you're just keeping track in your head, talking along. You do this once, you'll be able to talk while they're dealing off the cards. Right, right. right. So you're just keeping track of it. So meanwhile, and this is my favorite part, whereas uh, because like when you picked a card, it involves some kind of like sneaking it back into a certain place mm -hmm. or whatever, whereas this part happens totally in your hands. So clean. You pick whatever card you want, and, and all you do is you just peek it, and you feel like I'm the only soul in the entire world right. who knows what and this card is. And then here's the really dirty part, and I go, hey, what I'm gonna need you to do is completely mess up all that secret preparation <laughs> right. that could burn me, <laughs> all where you could see what's exactly Essentially, going on. Essentially, you have him clean up your mess, Exactly. Right? So it's like he takes it, and he's like, oh, you'll never find my card. Die, <laughs> copper. Right, right exactly. Then, right, Because okay. now I know the card value, not where it is. Exactly. Okay. This is what I think of when I think of magic jazz, you know? It's like right. you've got the tools, you just sort of go with the flow, you figure out how to set up certain things. But the question is, do you guys understand the fundamentals enough that you could perform the trick for us? Absolutely. Look at that. Yeah. Confidence. I like that. I like it. Ooh. Outstanding. Okay, Kevin, Courtney, I understand you just got struck by radioactive lightning and suddenly have wizard powers. I don't believe it, for I am a skeptic. Now prove this skill. Okay. I worked years to be able to do this. They got it now. They watched Scam School. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I would like to have you pick any card of your choice. I'm feeling drawn to this one right now. Okay. Here. Look at it. Show the camera. Show the camera. I won't look. That's good. I'm not going to look. You might think I'm in on it. Okay. So now you can go ahead and place it back anywhere you'd like. I would like to put it right that is there. A very, that's All a very fair right. replacement if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So I have not seen your card at yep. all. Put nope. it back anywhere you want it. Yep. And so I'm just going to look through these, see if I can see I will what, wait patiently, see what feels... looking off in the distance. If so you I don't get this anything. right, I will be amazed. I'm, I will, will see be my amazed face. In just one more beer. It's going to be amazing. Church is what? Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking through my psychic did you just make a selection? I did. I did. I chose one. Oh. I, wonder All right. I wonder if it'll be right. If only I could participate in some way. Uh, well, what you can do, you can take, this, take the deck. Me? Hold okay. the cards? Yes, yes hold you're going to take the cards. Hold them until you're about to deal with them. Yeah, we, yes, all right. I'm ready. And uh, now what, what I want you to do is I want you to go through each card and deal it down. Like do face up? Oh, no, face down. Face into, down. And do a pile. And then stop whatever I want? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Like, like maybe when I feel like a connection with a card. Sounds good. Which I do for this one. Look at it and get it into your mind. Remember the card. Do not show it to me. And, and okay, you got it in your mind? No, no I've got it. Okay. I, I remember it. Okay, we'll place it back. You can actually gather all the cards and yep. shuffle them up as much as you want. Wait, shuffle any, up all the cards? Yes, but then, but like you're like a sleight of hand wizard. How will you know? That's How's he gonna get his finger in there? I told you, it's a real psychic like connection. <laughs> You're like, like, and I'm offended <laughs> that you keep saying that. How I'm dare you insult kind of, me, Brushwood? This, this is no ledger domain, sir. <laughs> For I am a wizard. All right, I got it. It's lost in there. I dare you to find it. Okay, well, let me take a look. Mr. Mind Reader Man. I've got a good feeling about All right. This one right well, uh, I will be curious if you, psychic duo, have the powers that uh, to divine our cards. Because I'll tell you right now. <laughs> My card was the Ten of Hearts. What? My card was the Eight of Diamonds. There's no there's, way you found there's that. There's no way you got them both. Um, uh, well, let's... What? what? Wizard oh powers! God. I will join your new religion. This is amazing. Congratulations. Let's toast the world. Off. You guys rock. That was awesome, man. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Now the best part about knowing this technique is that now that you have it down, you can make up any number of effects on your own. Think about it, the ability to come up with awesome magic anytime, anywhere. This magic jazz potential you have. Unlock it, get improv -y. take some risks, and have a fantastic time. And best of all, tell me your success stories and failure stories. Post them right down in the comments, right below. I respond to all of those. I read all of them too, even the nasty ones. You, Mr. Jerk User 877, I saw it, don't think I didn't. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brianschwood.com and hit me up on Twitter at twitter.com slash schwood or follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school. And don't forget, if you're looking for those props that you want to take the bar so that you can be a badass anytime, anywhere, head on over to scamstuff.com. Scam school is about what you do at the bar. Scam stuff is about what you bring to the bar. Don't forget to join us next week because we're going to be learning why corduroy pants and Taco Bell don't mix. It won't be pretty.
This is, don't, you're following me to Taco Bell. That's, I don't want that to, you look away. I'm ashamed.